Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your week end reading for July the 24th and the 25th. And depending on where you are in the world, we are experiencing the full moon in Aquarius, which is going to be very potent and powerful. So we'll see what is coming through for that. So we will see Page of Cups has come out. Something unexpected on offer. <laughs> it's all happening here. The Seven of Pentacles, which could bring some growth into your world. It is sitting right next to this Three of Swords, which has come out in the center. Uh, so I do think that we're looking at something, an area of your life where you have felt blocked around accepting or growing. So there, this is something that kind of I feel like comes out of the blue. We have the Three of Pentacles. It's a lot to do with your self-worth, working with groups, how you feel valued in the world. And there's a big shift and change coming through in terms of the Wheel of Fortune. And at the base, the Queen of Swords. So interesting energy coming through for you here today. With that Three of Swords right in the center, it's kind of... Interesting because I feel like, you know, this is the element of air. It is a full moon in Aquarius. And this energy is going to show you things very, very clearly. Show you very clearly where you have really held on to something that has been holding you back. It could have been a past hurt, a loss, a disappointment, someone, something someone said to you. It's just been a pain point within your heart. And it's kind of interesting with the Leo and Aquarius energies working together. Leo is all about the heart and Aquarius is all about the head. And it's kind of interesting if you look at the Three of Swords, it's the head and the heart together and how those two have been working. And so this is an interesting theme. There could be a bit of a push-pull between those two energies. And it could also be showing you how those energies have not been working or how they have been working. So... I think ultimately the bigger picture for this is to show you where you can release some of that uh, unnecessary tension between head and heart and let that go so that you can step into this good energy that is surrounding it. And we do have the Queen of Swords here as well. So it's kind of interesting because we do have this, this sword energy, the element of air is the strongest energy coming in, and that makes a lot of sense. But it's interesting with the Queen of Swords, it's very much this internal, deep, feminine, internal energy, which makes sense with the moon because that is the moon energy. And it's really saying the queen of swords has her head above those clouds of fear and doubt. And it's saying the path is clear now. There's a sense that the storm is over and the clouds are parting and the sun is starting to shine again. But it's showing you where that has been clouded, where the sun has not been able to get through, that Leo energy has not been able to pierce through something that has been in your head, surround, connected to a past hurt, a story that perhaps you've been told, where you haven't been able to break through, you haven't been able to see something very clearly. So this can be liberating. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, but it can also be uh, uncomfortable as well. Whenever the Three of Swords comes up, it comes up to be exposed to the elements to be cleared. It needs the element of air. It needs to be able to, a wound needs to be exposed to the air in order to be cleared out and healed. And the same thing, it needs the sun. And those clouds you can see that are hovering above that Three of Swords with that Queen of Swords, it's like your head is finally getting on top of something and really fully understanding something that it, it has been, yeah, it, it kind of never really understood something that was going on in your heart. So this is very powerful, this head-heart connection and a powerful healing opportunity here to gain a higher understanding, a higher perspective, very deep internal, like I said. But with that Queen of Swords, her head is in the clear space now. It's able for the sun to come through, like we said. And with that Seven of Pentacles planting those seeds, it needs this combination of the sun and the rain 
and the weather, everything for these seeds to start planting and growing. There's a lot of Taurus energy coming through with this again. And so it is a sense that once this clears and the sun can come out again and we can now see where it is you're wanting to put your time and energy to see that beautiful growth coming in. And we do see it with the Three of Pentacles. There is a sense that there is more for you to shine and offer of value of the world that is you intrinsically connected to who you are. And so there's something very lovely on offer here in terms of your heart with the Page of Cups, there's an offer of the heart coming through. And however that appears to you, this can be surprising. This might be something you find out about yourself or when you go deep down and your your mind, that rational part of you fully understands. As I said, this, the sun is coming out. <laughs> I love this. So there's something surprising coming in. I feel like that that Page of Cups brings joy with it. Uh, so this could be something that surprises you about yourself. It could be someone that does something very nice, that's very kind, that it has something that is attached to love, this offer. And it can be in so many forms. It can be someone telling you they love you or it could be someone saying work with me or something nice about you. It could be just as a compliment. But however it however it appears, it's going to go straight into that wound, into that heart area, and it's going to help heal that. And so therefore we have this big wheel of fortune coming through. I mean, this is deep. It's intense energy. It, with the Aquarius energy, it shows you something in clear light. Like we said, um, it can be stark, but it shows there is the potential here to shift and have this huge step into the new, step into this change for something irrevocably within you, deep inside to change and shift and move into the positive in terms of planting these new seeds, seeing this new growth that's coming here that has this opportunity to come through. So it's a very powerful, potent energy, uh, but it does require you to sit and see things clearly where sometimes those can be those things that we try to avoid. But this, so that, but th that's the opportunity of this wonderful full moon that's coming through. So I hope that you can all have a chance. I'm feeling it very much in my heart. Connect to your heart. Listen to what your heart is saying because that is going to be giving your head some very, very clear messages. Allow the, the path to open for those two to have a nice conversation because that's where this healing, this clearing and this sense of progressing into the future positively will be. So look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Enjoy. <laughs>